guys, how are you? I hope you are well. Let's continue now with our timetable. For now, we are going to have math class, okay? Well, do you remember uh, yesterday we did all about the number six? What is the number that comes after the number six? After. It's a number six and seven. The number seven. And today we are going to talk about the number seven. But more than it, to start our day, don't forget, please, to keep tracing the numbers, to keep practicing the handwriting, because it's super important to know how to write the numbers properly. And now, as you told me, we are going to do all about the number seven. And I'm going to put the number seven here in our board. All about the number seven. Uh, guys, to start now, all about the number seven. Seven. Do you know how to write the name seven? The number seven, the number seven as well, is start with the sound s, s, seven. Seven. Can you recognize the sound? S, s, s. Here is the number seven. S, 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 seven. Seven. How to write seven? It's here. That's the name of the number seven. Okay? And how it looks like in a temp frame? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's how we right here in a 10 frame seven five on the top two here in the bottom how to tally you know it's super simple i'm doing i'm going to do it you can do it as well with me one two three four five six seven do you finish yours good it should be like this it has to be like this okay and let's count i'm going to count some apples one two three four five six and seven i have here seven apples and i'm going to jump here in the number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Here, with the number line, using the number line, you can recognize which number comes before the number seven. Number seven is here. Which number comes before? Number six. Number seven is here. What is the number coming? after number seven that's it number eight and now we did all about the number seven it's getting easier i know because as much as we do it it's getting easier and usual for us and you know how to do it properly that's the all about the number seven good well then for today we have all about the number seven we have as well to do this as always and i want you guys looking here to this number line to the number line for now we are just using the number line to jump into the number that we are studying that's the only thing that we are doing in the number line. But 
we can use the number line in many ways. I'm going to show you now more ways to use the number line. I have here my poster talking about the number line. Can you see it? Let me get the camera closer. Can you see here? Good. Guys, how can we use a number line? We can use number line in many ways, but for now we are going to use the number line just to recognize the number before and after, to recognize as well the number between two numbers, and to try to find a missing number. Whoa, a lot of things that we can do with a number line. I want you guys helping me to try to find the number that comes before and after the number I'm going to put the sticker on. The number will be number six. That's the number six. Can you please help your teacher to find the number that comes before the number six? If I have the number six here, the number which comes before, it's the number five. Number five. You can actually find the number that comes after the number 6, which is the number 7. That's it. Now, for example, if I hide the number 6 and ask you, guys, do you know what number is between the number 5 and number 7? What does it mean? I have here two sticks what is the color of this stick it's orange right and I have one blue stick between those sticks. I have the blue one between two orange sticks. What between means? means? Between means something that is in the middle of two things. This example is my blue stick is in the middle of two orange sticks. This is between. If I ask you guys to try to help your teacher to find the number between six, 5 and 7, which number is it? Here I have, for example, the number 5. And here I have the number 7. What is the number here in the middle? It's 6. Let's have a look here. I have here the number 6 and the number 6 is between the number 5 and the number 7. Between, in the middle. Good. If, for example, I hide one um, number with my yellow sticker, let's hide this one. How do you know which number is it? If it's hided, how do you know? Simple. We know how to do now. It's just to look the number that comes before and the number that comes after. And, and then you are going to know which is this, what is this number. For example here, what is the number that is between, in the middle, of 3 and 5? Let's think. 3, blah, 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 5. What is the number between those numbers, 3 and 5? Number 4, because we count. Look. What is the number between 3 and 5? Number 4. If I hide this number, I know which number is missing here. 
because I know the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I take the number two off, do you know what is the number that comes before and after the number two? Before it's the number one, after it's the number three. And what is the number between 